I am ready to move on to the next set of 10 questions out of Carl Shoup's book, Test Your Bible Knowledge. There are multiple choice questions. They each come with four answer choices. My task is to select the correct answer. I'm trying to get another perfect score. I've only done it one time so far. And the last couple quizzes have been kind of challenging. And the score has not been something to be really proud of. The um, questions that I'll tackle this time will be in the book of Numbers for the most part. One question will come from Leviticus, and then the other nine will be out of the fourth book of the Old Testament, the book of Numbers. Okay, so the first question, which will be the last one out of Leviticus, is number 171. If the following four of the many punishments by which the Lord threatened the Israelites for disobedience are numbered, one, pestilence in their cities, two, causing them to eat the flesh of their sons and daughters, three, terror, consumption, and the burning og, consuming their eyes and causing sorrow of heart, four, wild beasts robbing them of their children and destroying their cattle, the order in which they were to be successively applied was A, 1, 2, 3, 4, B, 4, 3, 1, 2, C, 4, 1, 2, 3, or D, 3, 4, 1, 2. Okay, well, in this question, the author is trying to get you to put these punishments in order and I think that the order that the question presents them is the correct order. So for 171, I'm going to select A as my answer. 172, and now we're in the book of Numbers. Of the 12 sons of Jacob, the census was not taken of the tribe of A, Gad, B, Zebulun, C, Judah, or D, Levi. And I'm Feeling pretty good that D, Levi, is the correct answer. They uh, not did not participate in that census, I don't think. 173. The tribe of Levi was given by the Lord to Aaron for assistance in religious ceremonies, A, as the largest of the tribes, B, as the smallest of the tribes, C, in substitution for every firstborn of all the tribes, or D, after a fervent request by Levi. All right, I don't think that D is correct, and C, I don't think that C is correct either. I'm going to go for B as the smallest of tribes, so 173, B. 174, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Was to be said, A, to an Israelite when the time of his separation as a Nazarite was completed, B, to an Israelite at the time of making the special vow of the Nazarite, C, by the Nazarite to his fellow Israelites, or D, by Moses to Aaron and his sons. Okay, here again, I'm going to go with um, D on this. It's the only choice that has nothing to do with the Nazarites. And uh, I think it's the best answer here for me. So 174D. 175. As long as the cloud rested over the tabernacle, this was the Lord's sign to the Israelite hosts to A. Keep going. B. Pray. C. Stay. D. Eat. And I am going to go with C. Stay. Stay in place. 175C. 176. Some of the Israelites incurred the Lord's wrath by developing a craving for A. Flesh, B. Manna, C. Liquor, or D. Tobacco. Okay, D. Completely not right. C. I don't think is correct either. I think we're a little early for that. And um, B. Manna. I don't think that it's manna. Um, I think that it's A, flesh. So 176 for me, A, flesh. 177. Eldad and Medad were immortalized with a few lines in the Old Testament because they, A, were the first Siamese twins born during the long march, B, 
prophesied in the camp instead of in the tabernacle, C. Attempted to seize the priestly power from Aaron, or D. Spied out the promised land with Zin and Rehob. Okay, um, A. I'm pretty sure is not correct, the first Siamese twins. B. Prophesied in the camp. I mean, that sounds good. I remember there was a problem with that. And A. Attempted to seize the priestly power from Aaron. I remember that being a problem also at some point. I'm just not sure when. D. Spied out the promised land with Zin and Rehob. I don't think it's that. I think that I am going to go with C. Attempted to seize the priestly power from Aaron. I want to go with that C for 177. Although B, it could be B, but um, I'm going to stick with C for 177, and we'll see. 178. The Lord satisfied the Israelites' craving for flesh, but at the same time he A, smote them, B, redeemed them, C, forgave them, or D, received their repentance. And I think we can eliminate D, received their repentance, um, C forgave them. Um, I don't think that that's it. B redeemed them. No. A smote them. I want to say it's A smote them. So I think for 178, I'm going to mark A as my answer for that one. 179. When Aaron's sister Miriam was made leprous because she and Aaron had angered the Lord by doubting that he spoke through Moses alone, he relented after A, Aaron had beseeched the Lord, B, Aaron had beseeched Moses, C, Aaron had beseeched Moses and Moses had beseeched the Lord, or D, Miriam had beseeched the Lord. Let's see. This is a good one. When Aaron's sister Miriam was made leprous because she and Aaron had angered the Lord by doubting. Wow, let's see. Um, I think that D is a pretty good answer. Miriam had beseeched the Lord. She was the one made leprous. Um, Aaron and had beseeched Moses and Moses had beseeched the Lord. That one might be good too. I'm not sure though. I'm going to go with C. Aaron had beseeched Moses, and Moses had beseeched the Lord for 179C. 180, the last one. The Lord set the period for the Israelites' children to wander in the wilderness at just 40 years because A, 40 was a favorite number of the Lord's, B, the Israelite scouts had spent 40 days pessimistically searching the promised land, C, no Israelite over 40 would live to inhabit the promised land. Or D, Moses persuaded him to reduce it from 80 years. Okay, D, uh, not correct. Similar to the story with Abraham, but I don't think it's the correct one here. C, no Israelite over 40 would live to inhabit the promised land. Um, I don't think that's the reason. I think the reason is really B, the Israelite scouts had spent 40 days pessimistically searching the promised land. So for 180, I'm going to select D as the correct answer. Okay, that makes 10. So now it's off to the back of the book where the answers are waiting for me. And um, there are a couple of pages of answers here, multiple columns. And I'll find the correct number, 171. And for the first one, the correct answer is D. And I answered A. Not off to a great start. So let's go take a look. 171. Oh, that was the order of um, those punishments there. And it was three, which was terror and consumption, and then four, wild beasts, and then one, pestilence in their cities, and then two, causing them to eat the flesh of their sons and daughters. So that was the correct answer, D, for 171, and I marked A. 172 is D, and I marked D. That's good. 173 is C, and I answered B. Oh, man. 173, the tribe of Levi was given by the Lord to Aaron for assistance 
in religious ceremonies, and I selected B as the smallest one. Actually, it's C, in substitution for every firstborn of all the tribes. Okay, I didn't, I didn't realize that. All right, 174, the correct answer is D, and I put down D. 175 is C, and that's what I have here. 176 is A, and I have A also. 177 is B, and I put C. Oh, goodness, this is the third one wrong for me. So 177, and the question, oh, Eldad and Medad were immortalized by a few lines in the Old Testament because they, correct answer B, prophesied in the camp instead of in the tabernacle. Okay, so I was trying to decide which one was the correct one, and I picked the wrong one. All right, 178, the correct answer is A, and I marked A. 179 is C, and I marked C. 180 is B, and I answered B also. So that makes three incorrect and seven correct. So that's a score of 70%. Not too bad. Um, it's just a little below my normal score of 80. It's not going to help my cumulative score, which has been tanking lately, but it's better than a 60 or a 50, for goodness sake. Okay, so next time it will be 10 questions again from numbers, and um, we'll see how that turns out.